my daddy is robot. Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast, and let's talk Transformers. Today we're taking a look at G1 Ultra Magnus. This is a figure that I got for Christmas this past year, and uh, my little baby brother gave it to me. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, this, uh, this outdid everything this year. Um, I was absolutely blown away. Um, so thank you very much. Um, as you can see, it's in its box. Um, this is the Canadian packaging. Uh, as you can see down in the bottom, maybe you can't. Let's bring it in. It says Autobot Ultra Mag. So that's French. There's a little bit of French over here. There's a little bit of rips and stuff. A little bit of damage to the box. But it's 30 years old. Come on. What do you want? Um, up on the top of the box, you can see the steps in transformation. You start. You change. You change. You change. Then you're finished. Ta-da! On the side, get a really good picture of Ultra Magnus with a white chest piece. Kind of odd, but whatever. On the back, oh, that G1 art. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. The humongous tech spec that you need the decoder for. I hope I got one. The points. Ultra Magnus was worth four points. So cool. On the side, another p uh, picture of Ultra Magnus. Anything on the bottom? Just another picture of Ultra Magnus. And it says on the side, special offer. The Transformers Glow in the Dark mini poster. Movie sweepstakes entry. Interesting. Let's get this thing open, shall we? All right, so here is Ultra Magnus out of the box, not uh, out of all the packaging. I wanted to get a quick shot of the packaging here. 80s packaging, styrofoam. Look at this stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at all this styrofoam. You can't get away with this anymore. This is crazy. So cool. Look at all of this styrofoam. All right, let's pull this stuff out of here. Some uh, rockets. Come on, out of there. Ultra Magnus's gun. His chest piece. One rocket launcher. Two rocket launchers. He came with two of these, which was kind of odd. Two of the, uh, like the chest, or the, sorry, the crotch pieces, or the, like the connectors for the, the truck, whatever. He came with two of those. And the fists. Interesting way that they had those things plugged in there. Out. We've obviously got the big Ultra Magnus fists. And then we've got the little fists for like the uh, the prime Ultra Magnus. Cool. And in here, oh, there he is there, the head of Ultra Magnus. The trailer. That's huge. And the cab of the truck. Crazy. Get rid of that styrofoam. 
Won't be needing that. That's so cool. So let's connect this thing here. Let's put this thing on the bottom here. So it's just two little tabs right there. Put that on. And boom. There it is. So awesome. Now this is the um, the plastic wheeled version of Ultra Magnus. There is a rubber wheeled version. And uh, I have been I have told my brother that I, I, I might still pursue getting the rubber wheeled version just because I know that that one's the older version but uh, this one's so cool plus I do need to replace the uh, the windshield in here there's no there's no windshield so what are you gonna do I mean 30 years old some things are gonna be missing but uh, so so good this thing looks great um, before we get into the assembly of Ultra Magnus, let's take a look at the uh, the package of of goodies that comes with Ultra Magnus here. Like, holy cow! Look at all this stuff. Let's open this thing up here. So it comes with a Ziploc bag, nicely done. Okay, so there's the decoder that I was talking about. Awesome. I got a little thing here for a special offer. This is to get the uh, Omnibots. So I wonder if I send this thing away, if I'll get the, uh, if I'll still get the Omnibots. Six dollars and four robot points each. Well, this is worth, uh, Ultra Magnus is worth four robot points. Let's see here, I'll read it to you. Introducing the Omnibots. One minute, they're sports cars zipping through the through traffic. The next, they're powerful Autobot cars ready to meet the Decepticon challenge. Available in three models. Camshaft, silver, overdrive, red, and downshift, white. Colorful customizing decals. High-tech removable weapon systems. Removable rubber tires and tinted windows. Fill out and mail the coupon on the reverse side today. Cool. And there you go. So you could get all three of them for $18 and 12 robot points. Wonder why my mom never did this for me. Was $18 way too much? I don't know. Anyway, that's awesome. The book. For Ultra Magnus, the assembly book, like the instruction book. That's so cool. I think I've got it down by now. The product catalogs. Being as it's the Canadian, I got a French one. There's the English one there. These things are so cool. Look at all this stuff. Wow, there's Ultra Magnus. Oh, so great. Flip it over, and the Decepticons are on the back. Awesome, so much fun. And last but not least, here's that uh, glow-in-the-dark poster. Decipher the Decepticon sweepstakes. So there's the full poster there. That looks pretty cool. All very movies. And there's my glow in the dark bit. I doubt the glow in the dark bit still works, but uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get rid of all of these here. We'll take a look at Ultra Magnus by himself. All right, so let's start putting him together here. We gotta take this off because you gotta have the prime or the cab attached to that. We will 
separate the top of this trailer from that. Pop these in here, like so. Flip them up. Nice clicks. This thing's gorgeous. Separate the top like that. Swing them around. Because these are Ultra Magnus's arms. And move them up. Oh, great noises. Love these noises. Peg them in like that. It's perfect. We can set the fists in there now. There's one. And two. Uh, yeah, I can give him his gun. Sure, what the heck. There's his gun. Put his chest plate on. Perfect. Okay, now that's all that's left is to put the cab in there. So we're going to turn him around. Oops, I forgot his crotch piece. These little, This little thing on the front here. Just like that. Boom. Turn him around. And now we will put the, the prime in there. So you just put him like that. You got to open him up a little bit here to get the, the prime head out. So you prop the prime, pop the prime head out, put him back as a square there. So he's looking just like that. And then you stick him in there. And like that, he sits. And lastly, well, maybe not lastly, you put the Ultra Magnus head on top. We have his missile launchers to go on his arms. So there is one. And two. Come on. And we've got the missiles to go in there. And there we go. G1 Ultra Magnus. This thing just looks kick ass. Wow. So awesome. So much awesome. He's so big. I want to do a quick size comparison here with the uh, Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. S so tiny by comparison. So funny. And this is with the KFC add-on kit. Like, he makes him taller. G1 Ultra Magnus was a humongous figure. Let's put him next to another G1 figure. Um, his uh, Season 3 counterpart, Hot Rod. Or, yeah, well, Hot Rod, not Rodimus. Scale wasn't a thing in G1. So, this guy is just awesome. He's so big. Let's get those guys out of there. Anyway, if you have any questions about uh, about G1 Ultra Magnus and how awesome he is, uh, let me know. Um, thanks again to my brother Mike who who picked him up for me for Christmas. I don't know how you managed to do this do this, but uh, I am very thankful. Mikey did very well. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, please do. 
just follow at Cybertron Beast. You can check out my Facebook page. Just search Cybertronian Beast on Facebook. Click like, and that'll be me. Please check out the uh, the podcast I'm on. Uh, me and three other awesome Transformers fans are doing a podcast. It's called Transmissions, and we put out a new episode every Tuesday. So we've been interviewing a lot of uh, people in the industry, a lot of comic book uh, creators, a lot of uh, people um, that are uh, involved in Transformers, not just fans. And, uh, yeah, we're having a really good time doing it. So uh, check it out. Let us know what you think. You can find us on iTunes and on Stitcher, um, as well as transmissionspodcast.com. So take a look at that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been Cybertronian Beast, and I will talk to you later.